We have new developments tonight in the Florida condo collapse. The death toll today rising to nine people with more than 150 still unaccounted for. Here's CBS 2's Manuel Bajorquez. With the death toll rising, rescue crews continue the desperate search for life at the collapsed Surfside condo building. They used a crane to remove this large metal structure. Overnight and into Sunday, workers have been cutting a 40-foot deep trench into the rubble. We continue to sweep the mound with our canines, using all of the technology available to us and machinery to lift the debris. Buses took family members to visit the site of the collapse on Sunday. They need to be close to their loved ones. They need to see what's going on firsthand. Mike Noriega's grandmother, Hilda, is among the missing. She's 92 years old, going on 62 years old. Uh, she's just so full of energy and she just loves people. Now, an Israeli search and rescue team is joining crews working around the clock at the site. There is always hope. You know, God is not promised to succeed. He obeys you to make your efforts. Newly released emails from 2018 show an engineering firm estimated the building needed more than $9 million in repairs. An earlier report from the firm found the ground floor pool deck that rested on a concrete slab was incorrectly angled and had major structural damage. It also uncovered abundant cracking and spalling of concrete columns, beams, and walls in the parking garage. But the report did not indicate those issues could lead to a collapse. Manuel Bajorquez, CBS News, Surfside, Florida.